In this lesson, we're going to go through the matrix. The matrix is basically a combination of four vectors. So uh, we've got the offset, which is basically the position. So we've got the X, Y, Z coordinates for that. Uh, we've got V1, which is uh, basically alignment, or it's kind of similar to rotation. These three coordinates give us the alignment of the X axis for this object. V2 gives us the alignment of the Y axis for this object. And V3 gives us the alignment of the Z axis for this object, consisting of three coordinates. So a matrix can tell us quite a lot about an object, where it is and how it's aligned. So I'm just going to show you an example of how to use this. So I'm in Cinema 4D now and I'm going to create a cube. And I'm just going to reduce the size. If you hold down um, Shift and select XYZ and then hold down Control, you can scale everything at the same time. So I'm just going to reduce that down to about here. And I'm going to make it editable. Just put it to the side. Now, I want to control the position and alignment of this object using two different objects. So I'm just going to create maybe a cylinder. Put this over here. So I'm going to use this for aligning or rotating the cube. And I'm going to use, um, say, maybe a sphere for the position. Just reduce that and put that here like that. So I'm just going to create a null to put the Expresso tag on. Expresso. I'm going to put my cube object in at the end here because it's being controlled. And I'm going to put my sphere, which controls the position, and my cylinder, which is going to control the alignment. Put those two over here. So I'm going to select for the output the global matrix of the sphere and also the same for the cylinder, select global matrix and for the input of the cube I'm going to do the same, select global matrix. Now I'm going to use, um, I'm going to look for a node called matrix to vectors. There it is under adapter. I'm going to place one here and one here. So the sphere, which we're going to use for um, the position, actually I might just call this pause sphere for position and um, rotation cylinder, just so we don't get confused. Okay, so I'm going to plug these in like this. So basically now we can get all the information about the position of the sphere and its alignment. So I'm basically going to take what I need from uh, each kind of panel. So from position sphere, I'm just interested in the offset. And then for the alignment, I'm just going to take V1, V2, V3. So to do this, I'm going to drag and drop vectors to matrix. Put that here. So the position sphere, I'm just interested in the offset. I'm going to plug this in here. And the rotation cylinder, which is used for alignment, I'm going to take V1, V2, V3. So I'm basically splitting and then recombining um, these different vectors. And then I'm just going to plug this resulting matrix into the global matrix. So let's see what happens. And uh, I'm just going to go to uh, line mode. So you can see that the sphere is now controlling the position of the cube. So if I move the sphere, cube is uh, controlled, but if I rotate the sphere, it has no effect on the rotation of the cube. And then likewise, um, the rotation, the alignment cylinder, I'm just going to rotate my cylinder and it's affecting the alignment of my cube. But if I move my cylinder, it has no effect on the position. So this is just one of those kind of uh, useful concepts to know. It's just uh, good to have an understanding of this type of coordinate system instead of just the uh, position and rotation. So that's the end of this very simple tutorial. And uh, in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at the range mapper. So thanks for watching.